YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, good morning. It is a Thursday. And you know what I thought I'd do with you today? Take you along the good old routine. I mean, who doesn't love a vlog, am I right? But a lot of people have been asking me how I actually developed my abs, how I started seeing my obliques, how I built muscle there. And I'm gonna go over my little daily routine and show you some things that I do that help me. Because you guys, only doing ab workouts, only doing ab circuits is a complete myth. And you don't wanna starve yourself. You, you don't need that. Yes, of course, there's body fat percentage that goes into having obliques and abs actually see through and show. But I will show you what really helped me along my journey and how I kind of got to where I'm at. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's get started. So heating up a Chipotle burrito for breakfast. I actually have a meeting um, with Gymshark. It's cute, it's like a Gymshark quiz with all the athletes and that's round one. So Michael and I are gonna eat early and then we are gonna go for a run early. That way I'm not all sweaty for this Zoom meeting, you know? You feel me? But something detrimental happened last night, okay? I had Michael order us Chipotle online for delivery and I love burrito bowl. The man forgot to put bowl. So I just have this large burrito. And uh, guys, I just feel like you don't get as much food unless you have a bowl. So I was pretty upset, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so just finished my burrito and I wanted to bring up the first point. And I'm not saying this works for everyone. I'm not saying this is necessary. This entire video is just what works for me. Don't think I'm like some expert on this, okay? Some people come at me sometimes and I'm like, ma'am, ma'am, just hanging out, just sharing what worked for me, ma'am. But anyways, Michael and I have been doing intermittent fasting for, for about three years. There's a ton of longevity benefits for intermittent fasting, so it will pay off in the end, help you, um, you know, as you age technically. But there's also a huge benefit when it comes to intermittent fasting. You're you're only eating in a certain window. So whether it's a eight hour to 12 hour period that you can consume food, it, it depends on your body. Michael and I try to do, um, we'll probably stop eating around like 7 p.m. and then we'll pick up eating around 10 or 11 a.m. So we're very relaxed with it. But not only is it beneficial longevity wise, but I also am not consuming as much calories as if I was eating at 5 a.m. I mean, Michael and I work from home and have worked from home for years and if I ate right when I woke up your girl will be snacking a lot so it's just kind of also nice for me to be able to fit in my calories when I want and I'm not going to be overeating as much because I have a limit on when I can stop eating so I think that really helps me at least um, when it comes to eating in a deficit eating in a deficit really just means that you are eating less calories than you're burning and you guys know I like to do two a day sometimes so even though I don't count calories I will know that hey I'm probably burning more than I'm consuming for the day just because now I've learned my rule of thumb but just intermittent fasting does help with eating in a deficit and I'm not always eating in deficit no 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 your girl your girl cannot do that on the weekends but it is super helpful just because to be 100% honest if you want to lose body fat you have to eat in a deficit like scientifically that's what you have to do so not necessarily you have to eat less but you just have to make sure that you are compensating with the workouts that you're doing. So I hope that kind of makes sense. But that's kind of our morning routine and why I stick to intermittent fasting and why I've stick to it for so long. It just mentally helps me, you know, know, okay, I have this routine. I know when I can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner and when to stop and let my body reset. So I hope that helps. I'm also working right now, so <laughs> don't mind me. We will chat after this.
Okay, friends, we're back. <laughs> we're back in our desk as well. I'm about to hop on a call, but uh, Michael and I did a five mile run. We're aiming for 30 miles a week, so we're doing five miles for six days. It's rough, I'm not gonna lie, it was rough. <laughs> so before I actually hop on this call, I wanted to kind of touch on what my diet really looks like. You know what, I am not a fan of dieting or restricting yourself, but something that has immensely helped me during my fitness journey in general was cutting out processed foods, things that had preservatives, trans fats, things that aren't natural. So instead I have a whole foods based diet, which essentially just means it's natural. It's from the ground, there was nothing there's no preservatives. I honestly really noticed a difference when I started doing a whole foods based diet, especially with my body fat percentage just because I wasn't consuming all of those crazy trans fats, added sugars, uh, preservatives that were harming my body and kind of sticking to my gut and my body opposed to if it was all natural, fueling it with things that aren't going to just kind of be junk. So I know a lot of people say your diet is about 80% when you're trying to lose weight or something like that. And I think it really depends on the person, but it does have a huge factor when it comes to you trying to get into shape, lower your body fat percentage, anything like that just try out a whole foods based diet like go to your pantry and if you see something that has a ton of processed foods on the back or if it's not just straight up from produce maybe try and sub it and then kind of continue that diet for a couple weeks and see how you feel once I cut out all the preservative junk like reheatable dinners that's really when I started to see it we are out of the meeting and it was a good time it was cool because it was the Gymshark Northern American staff, and then the athletes. You're just mad that you weren't on it. What? Yeah. Oh, what? But anyways, it was fun because I haven't met any of them really, you know, very vaguely. So it's cool to have had that like fun little meet up and we did like a trivia quiz and it was very bad, but that's okay. Cause I'm new and that's my excuse. And now we're gonna go get some coffee. <laughs> What are we gonna are get? Are you sure you need it? Yeah! What are, you, what are we gonna get? Oh, uh, we're gonna get Americanos mm -hmm. with a little bit of vanilla in mm -hmm. there. We got a sock on my hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wearing a cool little sock. Wait, Bob Bentley with a sock. On Showed the nose? Up his talent, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand by. Hey, what's up? What's up? Got a sock on your face. Got a sock on your face, got a sock on your face, got a sock. Oh. Oh. <laughs> And that's our entertainment, ladies and gents. Do you want to go for a longboard? See, it makes up for the sock. So I'll film instead. We're waiting because it says back in a few minutes. Billy, you need a cup of water? You need a treat over here? He knows that they give him treats. Now this looks ridiculous. It's forever, forever on the internet. Oh. Hello. <laughs> You're so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta protect from the sun. <laughs> you are very They're pale. Just rays. <laughs> Update: We have found a sweatshirt. He's gonna buy. <laughs> oh, we waited. Let's do it. Gonna do the it. OG Jacks Surf and Shop, I think. I don't know. Turn around. Out. Show the back. Yeah, it's cute. It's so surfy. We're locals. <laughs> Three years or later. Or because we're tourists. Huntington yeah. Beach, everyone. It's true. Uh -huh. The sad moment when they forget our vanilla. Wah wah wah. Look at those little bubs. Coolest place in the apartment. All right, friends, we are about to go do some sprints. Um, the coffee was lovely. And I also forgot to add, I had a protein shake and a protein bar for lunch today, which brings me to my point. Make sure you're still getting the appropriate amount of protein because in order to build muscles, you need protein and your abs, your obliques are technically muscles. So just be aware that way you aren't deflating yourself. You know, when you're trying to be in a deficit, have an appropriate amount of protein. So I'm just right now sunbathing 
hanging out. Michael was out here with me, but he's making himself some nachos left over from Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, I just am like letting myself sit for a little bit until I do my sprints. And I am improving. At first, I could only do like 10 minutes with like 20 seconds on and 40 seconds off. And I there's some days that I'm like 30 seconds on and there's some days that I, ca I can't do it. So let's see how we feel today because some days are rougher than others, especially because it's been so hot. Like it's 75 right now and it's super humid. I don't know why. Spelling, spelling just side, but it's all good. I just think it's only 15 minutes, you know, like people think two days are so hard and like you could totally do this during your workout. But for me, I kind of like to break it up and do it more in the evening. That way I'm not so hot and it's only 15 minutes. So I'm basically done maximum 20 minutes if I shower after, you know? Oh my gosh, this car. Yeah, it's all I don't actually know. I don't, fun fact, I don't know cars at all. Like Michael loves Lambos and couldn't even tell you. I don't know anything. They're not my passion, that's for sure. So before I do the sprints, I did want to touch on one thing though. Hit cardio is a lifesaver for me. It's not for everybody's body. I can't guarantee you'll have abs from it or anything crazy like that. But HIIT cardio, which is high intensity interval training, anything that gets your heart rate up and going, like sprints or something like that, sprints that I'm gonna do right now is the easiest form of HIIT for me. When I add that into my routine, it makes it so much easier for me to lose body fat. And that is because I am burning more calories after this HIIT cardio than I would if I was just going for a long run or like a low steady state type of cardio where it has a moderate heart rate. So with HIIT, it's just something that's always helped me, you know, blast fat or just lower my body fat percentage in general. I always know if I need to eat in a deficit and if I'm going to incorporate HIIT, I will reach my physique goals. And that Guys, that literally is my body. Like, I'm not saying it'll work for you, but that is just what I discovered helped me. Okay, first off, <laughs> I'm brushing my hair right now. Procrastination at its worst. You all know I hate brushing my hair. This is probably the first time I've brushed my hair in like a week. <laughs> Rip. I also realized I haven't even touched on lifting or anything like that. So guys, you don't need to do a million ab circuits to get a six pack. You don't even need to do one ab circuit to get a six pack. I promise you, you do not. The way to actually form your abs and build those muscles, because your abs are muscles, you know? So you need to actually Actually activate them and use them so as long as you're lifting weights and you're activating your core as you lift your weights you are literally working your obliques there and that's what's so cool so I honestly don't do that many ab circuits but when I'm lifting heavy especially if it's upper body day I make dang sure I'm activating my core and that I am freaking squeezing my obliques as hard as I can because you guys the more you build it up of course the more your muscles gonna grow all right, it's been like 30 minutes. I got distracted and went on TikTok. I don't even understand how to use TikTok, but I love just like the explore. <laughs> and we're gonna go do the sprints. Let's go. All right, we're done. Did the 15 whole minutes while listening to High School Musical. And then Michael was actually longboarding. So we walked back together, how cute. And showered and changed because this is really what I wear all day, every day. A lot of you guys have asked where I got this. I got it at a work conference, go so free, and I liked it. Are you in my office for lighting again? Yes. Yeah. I look like a toad, allow you. me. <laughs> you look nice. Oh, the lighting, hello, hello. <laughs> Do you like the lighting? It's so much better Isn't in it here. Though? I, I really like it. What? Just touched your sweat. Oh. Well, it might, I washed my face. But we are going to make some chicken teriyaki. But I got chicken breasts instead of chicken thighs, so Michael does not consider it chicken teriyaki. It's not. If you know, <laughs> if you know anything about it, it's, it's not. Well, to me... The texture's off. The sauce uh, is the sauce. Yeah. So we're good to go. It's like putting teriyaki on a beef. I'm like... Then it'd be beef teriyaki. <sighs> That's a thing. <sighs> okay. Let's get to cooking, good looking. Like, see, this is why I go into its lighting, because it's real nice. Also look, newest addition. Newest addition to our guest bathroom, because I know you guys just care so much. Our friend Riley got us this cute little succulent, and I found a home. I think he's a little off, there we go. 
Ta-da! Riley's an avid watcher as well, so thank you, Riley. She brought it over and I was like, this is so cute. Let's go in here. Go in here. So I prepped the sweet potatoes per usual with my parents' chopper. Shout out Lynette and my dad. Lynette's the only one that surely watches these videos. Recording, that's what they told me. And then we have some free range, my head's cut off, chicken. A lot of people are probably like, I thought you were flexitarian and don't have meat at home. Well, since quarantine, since we don't really eat out that much, because when we're flexitarian, we eat out and have meat, but then at home we just eat vegan. But since we don't do that, we allow ourselves to have like one or two meals a week where we have some meat. So let's chop that up, because I thought it was stripped, but it's not. Lovely. Side note, how cute are these? My friend Maddie, the one that I literally talked about in my last video, she sent me these. She actually went to school in LA, so she has like a florist friend, and she sent me them to congratulate me on becoming a Gymshark athlete. That's the cutest thing I'd ever gotten. And now we wait, waiting for the chicken to cook and the potatoes. Finished product, guys. We got some egg rolls, some veggie spring rolls, the chicken teriyaki. Then I put some arugula with some sprouts, if you can tell, some avocado and sweet potato with rice, and we are good to go. Amazing. All right, guys, well, we're going to dive in here, and then we're gonna watch some Tiger King, because I caved and we're watching Tiger King. I think we're on like the fourth episode. People live this way? Insane. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me for today and some tips and tricks. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.